Okay, and welcome to a, a, a small special edition of um, Cracking the Cryptic, where we're going to deal with um, this this sort of puzzle that you can see on the screen there. It's called a Suko in the Times, um, but there's a, another variation which appears in the Daily Telegraph called a Sujiko, I think that's how you say it. Um, and it's very similar to this one, except without colours and with a couple of given numbers in the grid. And if you look on YouTube on how to solve this sort of puzzle, you will not find a great deal of help. And what help that you do find um, is of the fairly extraordinarily um, useless variety, because it will tell you to, um, you know, basically fill in all of the possibilities for every cell in the grid and then try and eliminate. Um, which is not how to do these puzzles. These are just a sort of a variation of killer Sudoku, in my opinion. Um, and you, you should always be using the 45 rule and the geometry of the grid in order to basically just fill in answers. Um, so, I mean, this, this one looks like a particularly easy variation, so let's just take a quick look at it. Um, well, if the pink numbers sum to 12, and these four boxes sum to 15, we can fill that in as being a 3. Similarly, if these sum to 15, and these four boxes sum to 17, then this is a 2. Um, so now we can see that we need 6, 8, 9 round here because these three cells have to sum to, tw to 23. Um, so I mean, if you need to, we can just do this sort of thing here. Um, and, and then you can just use this 18 feature here in these boxes. Okay, so the, that means these two cells have to sum to 15. But you have to do that in a way where this cell is net not equal to 6, 8, or 9, because the 6, 8, and 9 are already taken up here. Well, so the only way of doing that is if this is a 7. That means this is an 8. Um, let's just remove the 8s here, just for good order. So this is now forced to be a 4. Um, these two cells have to sum now to 11, but that's impossible if this is a 9. So this isn't a 9, this must be a 6, this must be a 5, this must be a 9, this must be a 1. And there you go. So um, a, very, uh, a very straightforward puzzle if you know how to approach it. Um, I'll just try and find another one online and see if we can do do that. Ah, found another one. Okay, so let's use the same principles again. So, okay, the, these green ones sum to 12, that means that this must be a 7 in order to fulfill this this 19 box here. Um, and these two cells sum to 13, and these four cells sum to 16. So, okay, so the only way that's possible is, is if this is the case which means that this cell is a 9. Okay, now I can't remember what we said here. Did we say these were 13? So if these are 13 now, they must be 5 and 8 in some order because that's the only way of making 13 that's still valid. And that allows us to make use of the, the one piece of logic that I think doesn't occur to everyone the first moment they see these puzzles. Um, and that's we need to use what, what we have here. So let's take a look at this 16 box, yeah? If we look at these, these four cells sum to 16. Add this 9 in, that's 25. That means these four cells sum to 20. The ones that I'm outlining there. But we already know that two of these cells add to 13. So these two cells must add up to 7. Well, if this was a 2, this would be a 5, so that's impossible. So in fact this is a 1, this is a 2, this is a 6, um, and now you can see it, it's... Um, so the, these are very much sort of a coffee time puzzle um, that really should present no challenge at all um, to anybody who's following our Killer Sudoku um, series, because uh, Killer Sudokus are far harder <laughs> than, than these puzzles. I've just I found another one on the internet, so let's just do that. Um, okay, so they all seem to start the same way, which is that they'll, you know, they give you a a three block which adds to something, and then you just deduct that that from the 
the cell, the four cells surrounding a number. So this has got to be six, as we can see. In fact, this one's even easier because now we can just use the fact that the pink box is sum to 13 in order to to give ourselves that. Um, but then we can we can see that this one just requires a tiny bit of logic. So um, what I always think we should do with these is find big numbers like this 26 and see if you can add on another number like this one for example um, to give yourself um, a handle on what the other four cells must be. So 26 plus 7 is 33. These four cells therefore have to add to 12 because of the 45 rule. And we've already got the 6. Well that's really helpful because oh, no, we need to press that, sorry. That means that we've got one, two, three around here. And in turn, if we look at this 22 box in four cells, well, I need I need I need this to be a two, three, otherwise I can never make these cells big enough. So neither of these is a one. This is the one. Uh, this has got to be eight and nine. Um, let's just move that down like this. This is 4, 5, and this is 4, 5. And now we use the green boxes, uh, which have to sum to 11, which means that the only way this works is if this is 2, this is 8, this is 9, and this is 3. Uh, like so. Now the 20 box is forced. So this is a 4, and this is a 5. And that's how you do these puzzles. Do not write all the possibilities in the grid. Use the geometry of the grid, use the 45 rule and force the answer out much more quickly.